25 most beautiful medieval towns of Europe. Europe is the heart of history and diversity. In fact, you'll almost certainly come across the remains of previous civilizations in almost every country you will go to. Occasionally, these locales are deserted ruins. Treat yourself to a city vacation in one of Europe's most beautiful cities. Although Europe isn't the only continent with medieval towns, you'll get a lot of bang for your cash here. In other words, you can visit several medieval towns in a short period. And we've put together a list of the greatest. Let's take a look. Number 25, Girona. A lovely walled medieval quarter with tiny cobblestone alleyways, balcony buildings, and shaded little squares can be found in this elegant provincial capital. With medieval fortifications, small winding city streets, and one of Europe's best preserved Jewish quarters, it's a beautiful destination to explore. Girona is a terrific destination for even the shortest itineraries across Spain, because all you need is one day to experience the best of it. Number 24, Delft. Delft is known across the world for its association with Johannes Vermeer, Delft Blue Ceramics, and the Royal House. Wander among canals, cathedrals, houses, and courtyards to relive the city's illustrious past. Canal excursions, museums, markets, and numerous bars are all available in this university town. The city is quaint and calm, with its lovely medieval core and picturesque canals bridged by brick bridges and flanked with trees. Number 23, Razov. Razov's picturesque environment is nicely complemented by its lovely medieval core, which is hemmed in on all sides by the Carpathian Mountains. Razov is one of Romania's most popular tourist destinations. The city could not be more different. It offers fresh air, a thriving restaurant scene, ski slopes, and a wonderfully preserved old center, all while being surrounded by mesmerizing views. Number 22, Mostar. Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina is known for its old bridge, which spans the Naritva River. In fact, the name Mostar comes from the word Mostari, which means bridge keeper. Mostar is one of Bosnia's most popular tourist destinations because of its stunning natural beauty, architecture, and of course, the Starry Most, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The best way to get the most out of your vacation to Mostar is to spend the night. Number 21, Bern. Bern is a lovely and peaceful city with a lot to offer visitors. It's been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its extraordinarily long history and magnificent old town. If you want to see other cities in Switzerland, you can take the train from Zurich to Bern. The city's most notable attraction is an antique clock tower with moving puppets that used to be the city's western gate. Number 20, Easy. Easy is a walled medieval village perched 1,400 feet above sea level with stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea. The Nietzschean Path, a renowned hiking track, offers hikers some of the most breathtaking views of the coastline. The village dates back over 1,500 years. Visit the historic church with its Egyptian cross which is thought to be a relic of the Phoenician temple that formerly stood on the site. Number 19, Tallinn. Its ancient town is breathtakingly magnificent with Gothic towers and some of Northern Europe's best preserved medieval architecture. If you want to trip up the 258 steps of St. Olaf's Tower, enjoy great views of the city and avoid the crowds by going early in the day and not on weekends. Number 18, Assisi. A tour from Rome to Umbria's picturesque hill region will take you to Assisi a medieval town with notable religious monuments, Roman remains, and aesthetic splendor. As a result, for the past 700 years or so, this town has been a major pilgrimage destination for Italians. The majestic Basilica of San Francisco de Assisi is one of the most well-known reasons for visiting Assisi. Number 17, Seski Krumlov. Seski Krumlov is located in the Czech Republic's South Bohemian area. The town, which is made primarily of Renaissance and Baroque architecture, is dominated by a massive 13th century castle. Because of its pure charm and elegance, it's a place that should not be overlooked. Come in the summer and remain until the sun sets to see the bustling city come alive with bars and restaurants. Number 16, Rovinj. Rovinj is a charming tiny town that juts into the Adriatic Sea from the west coast of the Istrian Peninsula. More than 15,000 people live in this teeny tiny village on the peninsula's edge. Many visitors will stay for two to three days, raving about its romantic appeal, colorful streets, and spectacular sunsets. Number 15, York. York is a really historic site with an astounding array of architectural relics dating back to the Roman, medieval, and even Viking periods. York boasts evidence of every age, in addition to cobblestone streets, Victorian tea rooms, haunted pubs, and the must-see medieval minster. There are cutting edge art galleries, a restored chocolate factory, and interactive ride through museums. Number 14, 
Carcassonne. The old fortified city of Carcassonne is located in the languedoc Rousselian area. The city has a 2,500 year history and joined France in the mid 13th century. It was once the epicenter of France's woolen textile industry. Carcassonne became the popular tourist destination it is today thanks to a 19th century repair initiative by the CT. Number 13, Heidelberg. Heidelberg, with its attractive riverbank position, stunning old buildings and bridges, and the castle remains that overlooks the town center, is one of Germany's most charming cities. Pubs, restaurants, museums, art galleries, stores and marketplaces surround the main street in the city center, offering items like beer steins, cuckoo clocks, and German sausages. Number 12, Colmar. Tourists come to see the city's gorgeous old town, which blends twisting cobblestone alleys with lovely canals, as well as the unique buildings that line its streets. There are churches and museums all over the country, with the Isenheim altarpiece being particularly impressive. Colmar is also an excellent place to start for visiting the Alsac wine region, which is known for its white wines. Number 11, Obidos. While the larger cities in Portugal draw the majority of visitors, the romantic medieval village of Obidos in central Portugal, just an hour's drive from Lisbon, is well worth a visit. Obidos, despite its small size, offers several unique characteristics, features, and attractions that make it a fascinating site to visit. The most important reason to go to Obidos is to drink Gin Ginha. If you didn't know, it's Portugal's second most popular alcoholic beverage after Porto. Number 10, Ronda. Ronda is one of Spain's oldest cities, situated in and around a deep gorge. Bullfighting is said to have originated in Ronda. It was erected in 1785 by the same architect who designed the Puente Nuevo and can accommodate 5,000 people. The town is defined by the bridges that span the gorge and the river. While there are three unique bridges, the Puente Nevo, or a new bridge, is the most intriguing, as it is made of stone and even as a small museum. Number 9. Dubrovnik Dubrovnik is known for its old town, which is located in the south of Croatia on the Adriatic Sea. During the Balkan Wars in 1991, this walled medieval section of town was shelled, but it has since been restored to its former beauty. Dubrovnik is a fantastic trip for cultural lovers, as almost everything you see is centuries old, thanks to the UNESCO sites. Some of the best places to see include the medieval Franciscan Monastery, which houses one of the world's oldest pharmacies, and the stunning splendor of Saint. Number eight, Hallstatter. Hallstatt on the banks of the Hallstatter Sea, or Lake Hallstatt, is one of Austria's most attractive places. Hallstatt is a fairy tale-like village, encircled by the beautiful Northern Limestone Alps, with pastel-colored homes and winding cobblestone alleys. Year after year, travelers are drawn to the tiny town by its natural beauty and attractive and fascinating landscapes. Number seven, Bruges. Bruges is a charming little town close to Brussels that is easily accessible by train. Bruges is remarkable because of its splendor and riches of world-class art. Superbly maintained medieval buildings, silent canals, snug tiny squares, and excellent delicacies on every corner. This small Belgian village is regarded as one of the world's most romantic cities, and it is. Number six, Rothenburg. Rothenburg is a walled city in Bavaria that is situated on a plateau above the Tabu River. The town is known for its extraordinary well-preserved medieval core, which looks like something out of a fairy tale. Visit the town hall, which has served as the center of city governance since medieval times. Climb the steps of the tower of the 13th century hall for spectacular views of the city. Rothenburg is also known for its year-round Christmas retailers and for hosting an amazing Christmas market every December. Number five, San Gimignano. San Gimignano del Belli Tori is a little medieval village dating from the seventh century. It's about an hour away by car or bus from Florence. San Gimignano is known as the town of fine towers for its medieval architecture, which is remarkable in that about a dozen of its tower homes have been preserved, forming a memorable skyline with its hilltop position and encircling walls. Number four, Kotor. The walled town of Kotor lies snuggled into the steep hillsides surrounding the deep canals of the Bay of Kotor and is considered one of the best preserved medieval settlements on the Adriatic coast. This is Montenegro's most gorgeous town. You'll enjoy the ambiance. It's as if the town wasn't built, but rather grew out of the limestone. The fortification is one of a kind, like a scene from an animated film about mysticism and spiritual preservation. Number three, Toledo. Toledo is one of Spain's oldest and most distinctive cities. Before Madrid, this city served as Spain's capital, and it has left an inedible mark on the country's history and heritage. 
mosques stand next to Catholic chapels, and there are some wonderfully Instagrammable synagogues. Number two, Mont St. Michael. To view and appreciate the architecture, there aren't many places in the world that are as famous as Mont St. Michael. It's truly one of a kind, and it's a great spot to see some of the beautiful buildings and historic landmarks that have been constructed on this tidal island. While the island of Mont St. Michael has retained cultural, religious, and geopolitical significance since the Merovingians ruled the region, it is best known today as the location of a stunning Gothic-style Benedictine abbey built between the 11th and 16th centuries CE. Number one, Siena. With its well-preserved ancient city and medieval horse racing heritage, Siena, situated on three hills in the heart of Tuscany, transports visitors back to the Middle Ages. The ancient core of Siena is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Tuscany, as it still has many of the period's most beautiful works of art and architecture. This city is steeped in history and art, with strong local traditions related to its 17 districts and the legendary Palio di Siena, the city's most important annual event held twice each summer. How many have you been to so far? And how many more medieval places do you want to see in Europe? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Let us know if there's a lovely medieval European town that we haven't listed. In our upcoming video, we'd like to explain it to you.